Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in Genshin Impact. First of all, we're going to make sure that you optimize your uh, windows properly. So the first thing that you need to write in your search bar is the game mode. Make sure that your game mode is at off. Make sure that your game bar is at off. And also, honestly, just remove all those overlay that you're currently using. The Discord one, the NVIDIA one, whatever, which one you're using. It's always like causing like stuttering and issues if you have like a low end PC. Uh, for the capture, make sure that your background recording is at off. Recorded audio is at off. And the game mode, we set it at off. So that's about it. Uh, another thing really important, just download the latest driver for your video card if you have NVIDIA, AMD and even Intel. Intel, don't just use like the uh, update from Windows, go on their website, download the latest driver, it will help you a lot for your integrated GPU. One more thing for Windows, if you have the latest version of Windows 10, the uh, 2004 one, uh, write GPU here in your search bar, open your graphics setting. Make sure that your hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is at on and restart your computer. If you have an IN compu uh, computer, honestly, you will not necessarily see a difference right now. Uh, they they, Microsoft said they will improve it uh, in the future. But if you have like a low end PC, a, a laptop, something like that, and you want to play a game, you will see a three to four percent boost in your FPS. Uh, one more thing for the game itself. So. Here, just go where you uh, install the game. For me, it's in the C drive, program file, and Genshin, Genshin and pack. Write dot exe. And you want to uh, change this one. You don't want to touch the update or the launcher. You really want to uh, choose the uh, execute for the game. Right click on it, go to properties, go to compatibility. Make sure that disable full screen optimization is checked. After that, go to the change IDPI setting and make sure override IDPI scaling is checked. <clears throat> press OK, press OK, click X. So now we're good with Windows. So let's go inside of the game. So inside of the game, first of all, the display mode, I, I don't have a full screen right now. I don't know why I have like a random resolution over there and full screen. And my uh, two monitors are currently at 1080p. So normally I just use 1080p full screen. So that's a bit hard. For the FPS right now, it's currently locked at 60, but you still can put your VSync at close if you want. And I saw that in some weird situation, like a warning message and stuff like that. Uh, I was getting like more FPS, like my FPS was, uh, was unlocked. So that's a bit weird. I'm pretty sure in the future they will patch it and they will just unlock the FPS maybe to 120 or 144, whatever. After that, the render resolution. Another odd thing, you don't have one. Normally in render resolution, you have one or 100%. So you have 1.1 by default. Uh, honestly, I did a test with 0.8. Normally 0.8, your, your game looks like trash. But in this game, 0.8, it's fine. Honestly, I didn't see a big difference. And I saw an improvement in my FPS, like five to 6%. So this one can be good for you to gain more FPS. Shadow quality, this is the most important setting in the game. So if I compare high to low, I was getting 12% boost in my FPS. So really important this one, put this one at low. Visual effect, I didn't see a huge difference in the FPS. Uh, if you have like some random drop when you're fighting and stuff like that, go at low or even lowest. If you don't see that, just go with medium. SFX quality, this one, I see, I saw a 3% difference, high to medium, medium to low 1%, so that's why I keep this one at medium. Overall setting, go with low. NTLEasing, this one is a bit tricky. Um, the difference between TAA and SMAA is 4%, and SMAA and none, it's 3 um, if you're struggling with your FPS, for sure, remove that. It will help you a lot, but the game looks like shit without it. Uh, I see a, a lot of aliasing in this game. So honestly, if you can use the SMMA, SMMA, sorry, just use this one. The last one is motion blur. I always remove motion blur in my game. I don't like this effect at all. So that's why, honestly, on or off, you will not gain any FPS with this one. It's more like a question of preference. So that's about it for the graphic parameter. Right now, the game just launched. Uh, it's not well optimized. Like my when I put everything in max, I, my uh, GPU usage is at, is at forty percent, and my CPU is at twelve. So <laughs> it's a bit weird. I'm pretty sure they're gonna patch it. They're gonna optimize it. So it will help you a lot for sure if they decide to optimize this game. 
So that's about it, guys. If you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube section. Post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.